America's big bet on AI-powered autonomous weapons is hitting turbulence. The Pentagon's replicator program, designed to unleash swarms of cheap, smart drones, is falling behind schedule, plagued by software failures, hardware glitches, and rising costs. Launched in 2023, Replicator promised thousands of low-cost, expendable drones, land, sea, and air, to counter China's massive military advantage. The idea was simple. Overwhelm an enemy with numbers, confuse their defenses, and turn attritable drones into a force multiplier. But reality has been much tougher. Reports say unmanned boats from Black Sea Technologies suffered rudder failures and drifted off course. An Andro launch system delayed drone takeoffs because of faulty tubes. And the Switchblade 600 loitering munition from Aerovironment struggled with jamming and signal loss. Interoperability has been another nightmare. Drones from different vendors couldn't coordinate in swarm tests once communications were cut. In some cases, systems even misidentified targets or failed to detect threats. In response, the Pentagon has now handed the entire program to a new command, the Defense Autonomous Warfare Group, or DOG, under U.S. Special Operations Command. The goal? Bring real warfighters into the loop, cut bureaucracy, and focus on what actually works. Yet, deeper problems remain. AI misbehavior, vulnerability to hacking, escalating arms races, and ethical questions about lethal autonomous weapons all hang over Replicator's future. Critics warn that rushing these systems into combat could backfire with catastrophic mistakes. The Replicator program was supposed to be America's answer to mass warfare in the drone age. But right now, it's more warning than weapon. Can Dog turn it around, or is this ambitious vision already doomed?